Hi, I'm Ioannis and I'm going to talk about reasoning about the TLA plus operator enabled within the program TLAPS. TLA plus is a language for writing hardware and software specifications of systems and mathematics in general. TLAPS is a proof assistant that can check proofs of theorems that are written in TLA plus. Enabled is an operator of TLA plus that is used for describing Leibniz properties of systems. The goal of this work is to extend TLAPS to be able to reason about the operator enabled and therefore about Leibniz properties. In TLA plus, systems are described as state machines. For example, on the right part of the slide, there is a TLA plus module called specification that declares a variable X and includes some definitions. One of the definitions defines the operator system as the conjunction of an initial condition that requires that x starts equal to zero and a temporal formula, the one with the box, that requires that in each step either x remains unchanged or if x changes, then it changes from a value x less than 20 to a value x prime equal to x plus one. The formula system allows x to remain forever unchanged. We want our state machines to eventually progress, which is why we conjoin fairness formulas. The formula WF subscript X of next expresses fairness. In other words, if next remains enabled, then it will eventually occur. This is the rough meaning of this formula. Then we are interested in proving a property about the system that eventually X is equal to 20. The diamond is read as eventually. And we would want to write that it is a theorem that system implies this property. And we want to write a proof about this theorem and check the proof. And this is why we developed this new functionality to be able to check proofs that uh, uh, involve Leibniz properties. There are a number of tools for working with TLA plus specifications, including a module checker called TLC and a proof assistant called TLAPS that I'm going to talk about. You can find more about TLA Plus at the URL on the slide. In summary, the operator enabled is useful for reasoning about Leibniz properties because when we write proofs of Leibniz properties, at some point in the proof, we need to prove a formula that contains enabled like the formula that you, is on the slide. Our contributions in this work include new functionality for TLAPS that allows reasoning about enabled. This includes a translation from enabled to existential quantification, the automated expansion of defined operators only where needed to apply this translation to quantification, the availability of axioms and proof rules about enabled that the user can invoke, and an approach based on repeated rewriting by application of axioms about enabled. The source code of the prover TLAPS can be found at the URL on the slide. Firstly, let's talk about the translation from enabled to quantification. Enabled of a formula A means roughly that in the next step, the system can change in a way that satisfies the formula A. So the formula enabled of X less than 20, etc., which really is enabled of next, where next was defined in one of the previous slides, is translated to the formula that uh, contains existential quantification. Why this translation? Because we are looking for a next state such that if the system transitioned to that state, then the transition would satisfy the formula X less than 20, etc. So this is why X prime, which is the value of variable X in the next state, is replaced by U and U is bound by existential quantification. You can find more about TLA plus and the definition of operator enabled in the book Specifying Systems. And here's an example of how you could use this new functionality in your own proofs. This is a TLA plus module that extends the module TLA PS that comes with the prover, declares a variable X, and then we write a theorem about enabled and we prove this theorem writing by expand enabled. This tells the prover to apply the translation of enable to quantification. Expand enable is a proof directive that is defined in the module TLAPS. 
There are also proof rules about enable that have been implemented. The reason is that if we translate enable to quantification early on, then this can yield complex formulas. And complex formulas can make it more difficult for the solvers to reason about them. This is why we want to first apply proof rules and axioms to push enable towards the leaves of the syntax tree before translating it to existential quantification. For example, here's a theorem that contains enable and we can transform this theorem using the proof directive enabled rules to the theorem A implies B. Now, if the prover successfully proves this theorem, it has proved the first theorem about enable. There are also axioms about enable. Again, these are used to push enable towards the leaves of the syntax tree. For example, we can distribute enabled over this junction using the proof directive enabled axioms. And there are many more axioms that can be applied using this proof directive. But step-by-step -step invocation of enabled axioms to apply all these axioms in sequence can be tedious, which is why there now exists a proof directive called enabled rewrites. And this invokes an approach that repeatedly applies these axioms until a fixed point is reached. As we saw, one can write definitions in TLE+, like for example, next be defined as this expression. Then if we want to prove a theorem about next, then we need to expand the definition of next. And we can do that writing by blah, 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 def next. This tells the prover to replace next with its definition. Well, now we can do this with the proof directive auto use. This proof directive tells the prover to look for operators within the scope of enable that might contain prime variables. And that if it finds any such operators, it replaces them with their definitions. This can reduce the amount of user interaction that's necessary. Here's a diagram that shows what goes on internally in TLAPS. TLAPS reads a TLA plus file, it parses it, and it applies transformations until at some point it converts to formats that it uses to communicate with external solvers. These are other programs. And depending on what the solvers reply, it gives us as output which parts of the proof it could successfully check and which parts not. So which parts of the proof we need to do something more about, like add more details or change what we are trying to prove. And the part that I've talked about and that I've worked on is the one on the lower left about expand, enable, enable axioms, etc. Here's the example that we started with. Now with part of the proof, this is a step of the proof where we use the new functionality, in particular expand, enable, and auto use. We wouldn't have been able to prove this step without expand, enable. And this is what the new functionality allows us to do. A few more details about this proof, again with some parts omitted. So we can see here the hierarchical style of proof in TLA that enables us to read and write proofs more easily. And this proof involves induction over the natural numbers. And it is in the inductive step that we use, use this new functionality. Here it is, expand, enabled, and auto use. And the proof continues and concludes. You can find this example at the URL on the slide, which is within the repository of the code. So in summary, now with the new functionality, the proof assistant TLAPS can check liveness proofs and it can do that by using a translation from enable to existential quantification by the automated expansion of defined operators only where needed within the scope of enable by the availability of axioms and proof rules about enable that the user can invoke including an approach based on rewriting that applies the axioms about enable and several soundness checks and other details that i haven't talked about there is now also support for the TLA plus operator C dot, which is action composition, and is defined similarly to enable. I would like to thank the people that have contributed ideas to this work and also through discussion and feedback. I would now be happy to answer any questions.